Raise your hand if you're like me and you love slim fitting hoodies and you're so tired of picking one up at the store and it looks like this. Well, what if I told you that you no longer have to look for a manufacturer who actually makes good ones because you can just make one yourself and it's gonna look like this. I'm SD, it takes about 20 minutes and I hate long intros, let's do this. First things first, we have to measure our shirt and you can do this in one of two ways. If you have never ever tailored anything before and you've never measured anything before, what you gotta do is you gotta gather all your materials, you're gonna need some pins and you're gonna need a measuring tape. And you're gonna measure the side of your sweatshirt and you're gonna put some pins in there and in the very beginning, you can just kind of ballpark it a little bit. You can figure out how much you think you want to take off, and you can kind of move from there. Now let me explain. Imagine a rectangle for a second, and that rectangle represents every single t-shirt and dress shirt and sweatshirt that you've ever bought. And now divide that rectangle into four equal parts. You want to give that rectangle a nice V-taper, so that it's more narrow in the waist, and then it's a little bit wider in the hips and the chest. Well, all you gotta do is move those two middle pins in by about a half an inch to maybe three inches, depending on how big or small you are and how big or small your garment is. Do you like it? Yeah? All right, good. Take it off and we're gonna, we're gonna go sew it. Oh, you don't like it? Mm, okay, we'll just move the pins around a little bit and then just kind of kind of go from there. Try it on again and see if you like it. If your face looks like this, don't panic, you can learn Everything you need to learn down there in the description. Where to find a sewing machine. What kind of thread do you need? What kind of needles do you use? All of that. Now I hate this step. I hate doing this. Because what ends up happening is it is inevitable. It is 100% inevitable. You will stab yourself with the pins. Seriously. Every single time. I promise you it's gonna happen. I just had to accept that I just went with it. And then finally I said, no, there has to be a better way. And there, there is a much better way. You can use uh, this, it's a template. Oh crap. That is a template of the measurements of my favorite t-shirt in the entire world. And all I do now is I transfer those measurements onto every single shirt that I tailor, including this one. I made a video on that too, I'll give you one guess as to where you could find it. Now, since we are doing a hoodie instead of a t-shirt, I don't want it to fit exactly the same way. I want it to be a little bit looser than that. So what I do is I end up moving the pins out just, just a little, maybe about a half of an inch. But nonetheless, that template gives me a great baseline for what it is that I want to do to that hoodie. And now, now it's time to sew. Step one, what did we have to do? We had to make a new bobbin because for the first time ever, you finally weren't too lazy to go to the store and get some green thread that actually matched what you were sewing. What kind of thread are we using? Polyester. Why are we using polyester thread? Well, because despite the fact that this hoodie is a cotton poly blend, I'm gonna use polyester thread because it's gonna be able to stretch and move with me, and that way, I don't have to worry about any rips or tears if I'm taking it off or putting it on. What kind of needle are we using? A universal needle, size 80-12. Good job, you got everything right, but we actually had to change our needle. We didn't use a different type of needle. We had to switch out our universal needle because they actually don't last forever. Change your needle about every eight hours of sewing time or what I usually do about every eight garments. And if you're tailoring thicker materials like denim, you're probably gonna change it a lot more often. Now it's uh, yeah, now it's time to sew this bad boy. You know, sometimes I wonder, so what's my plan if I screw this up? Cause I still screw up a lot of things. So then I'm like, so am I gonna like go back and buy another $15 sweatshirt? Or like, what's, what's the game plan here? Maybe I should take my time and make sure I do it right. Maybe I can circumvent um, not making mistakes by not sewing on a stool. You think I'd get like a table by now or like a desk or even a chair like would be better as opposed to sitting on a utility ladder, but hey, you know what? Are you buying? No, I didn't think so. 
I should probably stop yelling. The significant other is upstairs. She's on a conference call right now, I think. So any minute now, I'm going to get a text saying, hey, if you want to not yell while you make your, your tailoring YouTube videos in the basement, that'd be nice. Thanks. One side is done. Oh, um, I made a mistake too. With the way that I pinned everything up, what I normally do is I'll put the pins on opposite sides, so that way I'll have all of the fabric on this side of the machine, and then I just have the edge of my garment on this side of the machine, so that it doesn't get all bunched up down here. But I got distracted, and I didn't do that. That's okay. Now it's time for a zigzag stitch. Boom! I thought that we were done, but we are not done because we've got a huge, major, major, major problem. Here's what happened. Those sleeves, I didn't touch those sleeves at all because they looked fine they really didn't bother me that much but then after i took in the sides i'm kind of looking at them and i'm like mm -hmm. we gotta we gotta do something about that so we went back and we had to measure the sleeves and the sleeves are just as easy to do as the body is you can do them separately you can do them together and i took off a half of an inch on the sleeves down to about 12 inches down and then I moved in to an inch and I was kind of happy that this ended up happening because now I'm able to actually give my sleeve a taper and do this give yourself the flex test if you're ever tailoring the sleeves of anything do the flex test because you might pin it up and you'll just kind of hold your arm like that yeah okay cool it fits right well when do you ever walk around like this? Are you just gonna walk around with your arms straight out like this? No, I didn't think so. Do the flex test, move your arms around, see how it feels. It might feel fine like this, but if you go like that and all those pins just start popping out all over the place and you're like, ah, my arm. All right, so it passed, good, okay. So start at that arm seam and then just sew all the way down through your wrist. And now, not only one, do you have a perfectly fitted hoodie, but you can now make all of your other hoodies fit and look exactly like that one. That's all I got for you, SD out! Ow, that kinda hurt. Ow, deuces.